since the beginning, I have absolutely loved how it served. Loved his 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 hero, just kind of his character, freaking awesome raccoon in a bipedal war machine. And I've also loved his kit. Incredibly high skill ceiling with a few of his abilities that really makes him a very hard hero to master. And oh boy, when you can get those plays with howitzer, it feels fantastic. This build is going for a high sustained poke damage build with Hydroverser and Infinity Stream. So if you're ever kind of wondering what a high damage, high poke, kind of sustained damage over time build looks like this is the video for you. So, ladies and gentlemen, hello. I am Sylph and welcome to my Hero Builds and Guide series. If you were looking for just the build, go to the end of the video as that is where we're going to go into depth. The build, its order, and etc. But brief overview, again, like I said, Hydroverser and Infinity Stream for that sustained damage over time, focusing a little bit on mana regen. Here in the early game, we are in the mid lane, so we're going to go for a mana potion and a healer token to really, really, really make sure that we can get some good kills and sustain in this early game. So ladies and gentlemen, the very first ability that I usually tend to get is the Land Mine, just because that is the safest of the abilities that will keep us safe here uh, against the enemy jungler, who happens to be a Grux. So that's going to be a very uh, good jungler here to come in against me. And this uh, not today heroes, or not today, is going to have be a, a very nice opponent to go up against. I counter here. So landmine. What it does is you place it down. After five seconds, it then uh, it then explodes but also hits you in a, in, in a direction away from the central, if, away from the central uh, uh, focal point of the landmine, but it also hits, it also hits away enemies as well. So it hits you and enemies away from the central focal point. So, so if you can get you, uh, you know, and the enemy in between, uh, in between, in between the, 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 that mine in the middle, then you can actually do quite a bit. You can actually make quite a bit happen. So I'm gonna actually do this here. I'm gonna hit him. Oh, but I missed that because the Chimera, I thought he was coming in. Oh, come on, Chimera. I thought it was gonna make the plays happen, but no, the Chimera was not coming in for the dang. That was uh, quite unfortunate that I had that, that happen here. Uh, now he's gonna be a little bit aggressive, but I do have that healer token. Let's see what he has. He does not. He does not. So maybe he actually did see that. Um, maybe he did. He did see that chimera, and uh, maybe he kind of saw that. So. so there is uh, one of these. One of the things you can do with with your landmine is hit people in a good direction. Uh, that you know, obviously, then puts them in a bad position, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this the second ability we got that, and we also used there was the R2000 missile. What that missile is for is a long range. Man, uh, one of the best long, but one of the best minions to get, and I missed. Uh, so it's going to be the source of our damage here, because that's going to be really, really important for us to get, um, to get and level up here, because it does an insane amount of damage. It really, really does. Um, as soon as you, as soon as you are able to consistently hit those, uh, hit those. The, those missiles. It's actually really quite effective. So uh, this howitzer is looking to landmine me as well. So, but I'm not gonna let him do that. As uh, I'm gonna maybe be a little bit aggressive here. I kind of want to be a little bit aggressive, um, but not too too much. And I am missing these last hits, which is not good. I don't want to miss these last hits. I'm being very aggressive. Uh, oh, he's gonna hit me away. Okay. So we do have three card power. We can go back here for our first card. Uh, even though being kind of fairly aggressive here and you know what let's let's not uh this howitzer is staying i'm gonna stay as well so because i want to st stay up to par with him so the last ability we got was slow grenades it, it's three grenades deal 60 ability damage and slows the target by 170. uh they're they're a bit tricky to use in that they actually um Grex coming in? No? Okay. So he can just waste his mana there. He can waste his mana. I am a-okay with that. Simply because, again, we have that healer token which works really, really well. And these last hits. 
a little bit uh, sleepy, I guess, right now, as I simply am not getting these last hits. Ah. As uh, he, his his basic attack is actually pretty easy to 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 use. I just I apparently can't hit worth a damn. So I'm gonna do this here on that minion and come over here and try to get this red buff. These river buffs are very important for you to get here as a as a mid laner. They are what re, re, what rejuvenates your 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 mana. And I'm okay. You can do that again. I have that healer. I have that healer token, so you can just do that all you want. And yeah, see, look at that. I, I, I even in one situation there, the he's forced to go back, and I can't get these last hits. Worth a damn. That's been really, really unfortunate here. Oh no! But no, I'm oh no! <laughs> but I get him as well. Oh damn. I should have just stepped back just a little bit to get out of that tower range, and I could have won that quite easily. So we're going to do that here. Two minor strikes in, in the major support, because that is definitely what we need. So a, a very common thing to do here is is wait for the enemy to just get a little bit greedy, and then what you can do is hit use your landmine, as we have a, already a little bit here, uh, to hit a, a, hit an enemy in a uh, in a position. I can put them inside the tower. So, if if you can if if you can do it, it's damn exciting. So I'm not sure what he's trying to do. As uh, yeah. So I mean, really, purple buff right now. I'm not I'm not in position to rotate. So, damn, that's okay. So uh, the the slow mines, the the slow grenades are are one of the trickier abilities to use. As I. As I have, was saying, you can actually, uh, they, they go out in an arc in front of you and to the side. So if if you really want to use them effectively, you gotta kinda, if you want to send them far away, then you can just shoot them high into the air and then they spread far. But if you want to, and then they spread far and wide. If you want to, uh, if you want to instead, Put them all close together. Then what? Then then what you do is uh, is shoot them close to the ground because then they don't spread out as far, and then they just simply kind of all clump up. So if you can, if if you can, um, not paying attention here. If you can, okay. Well, that's a little bit too much poke here, as now you can see the poke is starting to get real. Um, as long as I can just kind of keep him at bay here, I should be able to do. Um, I should be able to to regen with my with my healer token here. So I'm not gonna let him get too much poke on me, as uh, that's gonna be kind of the game here in this mid lane so far. So here I'm going to. Uh, that's fine. If he wants to do that, that's fine. Did, what did I really stand in that? Oh my goodness! Are you serious? That's not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, this. Um, he wants to. Okay, well, this has been. He's just simply outplayed me here in this early in this uh, in this lane. He's done a fantastic job. So, wow. Uh, well done on his part there. I'm gonna do this. Hit him with that. Maybe this Chimera can go in on him. Oh, come on, Chimera! He should have totally gone in on that. Uh, but now we're we are definitely at a disadvantage here. That's quite unfortunate. And looks like our right tower is getting ganked hard as well. So that's pretty unfortunate here. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Well done, Howitzer. Well done. Well done. Well done. Outplayed. Outplayed. Alright, we are going in hard here on this Grux. And that should be... Should be it, right? Sh shouldn't it? Okay, we're gonna let that Chimera there go in and finish him off. There's the... Damn, that was pretty bad. I definitely could have made something happen there. I'm gonna return the favor for this... How? Okay, we're not. Uh, damn! I didn't think he would be able to get there at all. At all. I didn't I didn't use my landmine at all just because I didn't want to do anything there. But uh, now this Decker here is definitely in some trouble. She hopefully can get away there. Uh, not sure. I don't think I can... Oh, I could have definitely gotten that Grux! Oh man, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? All right, so here we go. Some uh, 
trials and tribulations with uh, with Howitzer here. Um, as I'm trying to kind of figure this stuff out here, I'm trying to get these wards. Really? Okay. Well. Rats. All right, so uh, we got to step up our game here, and there's that long range poke doing a fantastic job. There, I'll return the favor for him. As uh, we're going to, yeah, there we go. I saw that coming, so that's that's a okay there. All right, so his ultimate I didn't really explain, but you have seen it. Uh, you launch into the air, dealing a whole bunch of a lot of damage. It's a lot, but the uh, important part of it is is that. Um, he's actually gonna get out there. Okay, that's fine. I didn't see that. I didn't see that again. Sorry, I'm just not paying attention here, uh, unfortunately. So you launch vertically into the air, and then you do your whole thing. The last missile, the last missile is the one that deals a whole bunch of damage. So you have to actually be really quite careful. Um, you have to be really quite careful uh, as to how exactly you as to where you place it simply because if you want to if you want that last missile 50 percent of the damage to actually happen then what you really need to do is instead um no ah, wrong way sorry about that um what you really want to do is place it in and place it in a, in a way that forces the enemy team to travel through it once you can once once it's there then obviously the enemy team has to travel through it and then they're kind of screwed because then they get all of that uh, that damage from the last hit. So they're, they're, that you do have to think about that for sure. As for synergy with with all of his other abilities, obviously you can use your slow grenades to help uh, to help your enemy out, put them in a place where the enemy has to again good travel through them to oh, those last hits, man. Um, Gonna hit him away. There we go. Um, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna say my ultimate is ready because we synergize really well with this deck right here. Oh my goodness. There we go. Uh, they're going right lane. Careful, right lane. Enemy's missing. He's definitely gonna get collapsed on there. So let's go and help out our carry. I'm going to take the safe route. Can we make something happen here? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh. There we go. There's all that damage, but it looks like somehow he got away. So uh, the Chimera is rotating mid to help that defend the tower. Is he? Question mark? He should be. Uh, and now we have to go back. So let's get this river buff real quick since I don't have much mana. Oh, or not. Uh, they have a buff anyways. They have a ward anyways. And... So, okay, so that really didn't do anything for us at all. And there's the pick. <laughs> Fucking Murdoch cult, man. Just the dumbest ability in the game. Alright, we're gonna try something here. We're gonna hit this Greystone in a good direction. That should be one dead Greystone for fuck's sakes, man. Holy crap. Uh, oh, we actually did get him. Good, 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 good. Or, uh, we haven't really been uh, having too much luck here with these engagements. But looks like we will now, as we are going to very easily push this mid lane here just a little bit. I'm gonna use some of my abilities here, even though the Howitzer did use. Result to clear our. Of course, I stand right in the fucking last missile. Jeez. Wow. Um, just no luck here at all. And there's a nice pick for the enemy team here. Uh, I'm going to go in a safe direction here. Uh, or not. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so. Let's do this here. Uh, and that, okay, just totally degraded into a terrible engagement. Um, enemy tower destroyed. There is an Envy Tower destroyed there, tier 1 for them, so that's very... Uh, tier 2, sorry, for them, that's very good. Uh, now we're definitely posturing a little bit too aggressively here for having... 
for having, uh, you know, two now, three and now only two dead. So we're going to go on our way left lane here and defend this. All right, looks like there's going to be something here. As here we go, there's the opportunity for our ultimate. And we're going to do this in here. There is a incinerated Greystone. And there we go. So let's see what we can do elsewhere here. I hit this. Kaboomy! There is a nice wombo combo. As now we're going to go over here to get this red buff. Because we need this for sure. There we go. Now we're definitely going to attack mid lane here. We should be grouping here to get this off. There we go. All right, so we should be should be pushing this pretty hard if, unless we're gonna split push, which is what this Greystone's gonna do. That that works. That works as well. Hey, there's some pretty good plays. So uh, we haven't talked about the cards too much. I'm trying not to talk about them while we're in sitting in base. That's kind of boring. So the very first card obviously was our ward, but we after that got a Wellspring Staff that has majority of of um, majority of mana and mana regen which obviously works very well uh can i knock this oh no okay oh it still actually hit her good um has a majority of mana and mana regen which then we which th then which works really well because in the early game you're actually missing quite a bit of uh you know that mana and stuff and then we go into a fountain spike which we got next which has a little bit more power instead of that mana mana regen which obviously uh works really well because then you don't really necessarily need um, that much mana anymore because you're, you're starting to level up and you've got that going. So that works very well there. And then after this found spike, we're actually going to go into a fair amount of damage out of the um, out of some. After the found spike, what's next? The uh, burst engines, correct? Because we want to start that mana regen, which then feeds very nicely into Hydroverser and Infinity Stream, which is what we're going to get next. So I'm going to say on my way here get those even though i'm out of mana oh boy yeah so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go over that way uh i'm not gonna go over that way that's would sp certainly spell my doom so now i maybe want to get this blue buff just for that mana alone can i get it really quick no i can't so i'm pretty much out of mana i can't really do very much here i'm gonna hit them hopefully in different directions here as hopefully I can recover this Decker's escape can I yeah uh, again I can't really do much I don't have my 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 abilities here and that's exactly what you want from me I'm gonna shoot out this though hopefully slow him slow him down there's that yeah there's the grenade oh but no I should have maybe saved for can the chimera finish him off please yes but he's gonna die himself all right so uh, no mana, unfortunately, as it's really important for a caster. Kinda need mana. Kinda need mana. We're gonna go back here, get, um, yeah, we're gonna go back here and get to the next card, which is a burst engine. So what we can do here is get rid of this healer token and this mana potion, because that's not gonna be very useful now. We're gonna get another burst engine and the upgrades. Our carry is under in trouble here. And can we do anything? Oh no! I fucking missed! Oh, oh god. There's 341 and that Greystone should very easily finish him off. So there we go. At least I got that. But actually the uh, the Grux is coming back for more. So uh, I'm going to say I need some help here. Um, because, let's see, does the Greystone have his ultimate? Ooh, let's see here. Oh, so close. But I died for it. Okay, that wasn't smart. That wasn't smart at all. Damn it. All right, so we go there for the Burst Engine, and we our next card here is is one of our big ones. So the next one is the Infinity Stream or the Hydroverse, depending on our mana 
pool and what level we are. So we are at level 11, which is okay. We do have 1140 mana. Hydroverser stops paying for itself at that 600 mana point. Um, so I have 600 mana to play with. I'm not comfortable getting it yet, depending on when we get that eight card power though. We're gonna have to see, depending on that. So we're gonna have to all right, we're gonna see what we can do here. Our friendly team is annihilating this. Ooh, there we go. Is annihilating the enemy carry here. So now that we have, now that the enemy is carry less, and but so are we actually. We should be able to get quite a bit done here. Let's can put the ward down here and a ward on this side because I want this red buff. So no, okay. Nothing happened there. I thought the the enemy team would rally around it, their carry a little bit more, but they did they did see that it was pretty much uh, lost cause. So now we should be able to get this mid lane here. Uh oh oh boy oh oh boy. Uh, now we just have to retreat as the Grex is coming this way though. So uh oh all right. Hello. Boom. Not much I can do here. I'm mean, gonna put slow grenades, but we're gonna have to just use our ultimate. And we oh what? Invisible wall. Boo. Boo 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 for the invisible wall. So there is a good example of using your ultimate as an escape tool. It's not the best way to use it, but you certainly can. So oops, not quite able to hit to kill these guys in one shot, which we're just about there. I think one more power upgrade and we'll be able to get that. So unfortunately we have to go back here for some health. Six card power, almost, almost for a high diverse infinity stream. Almost. Little bit of a skirmish happening here in the mid lane. Can I escape now that I chose to do a little bit of a poke here? Uh, should be able to, oh yeah. So that long range poke is absolutely real now. And now that we have uh, eight card points, we will certainly be able to go into a our Hydroverser now. I actually think we need to go into Infinity Stream, but there's the Chimera getting a pick. <sighs> Trying to rotate here to help. For sure, I'm gonna say my ultimate is ready here. Long Rage Poke! Ooh, there's a nice bit of damage off on those guys. So as long as we can just do that, as long as we just use this uh, to our advantage here, um, you really want to play? Okay. Really want to play? There's that. There's that. I'm fine with that. Yeah, we can do that. We can trade. We can trade. A fighter needs to stick on, and that should be. Oop. But there's he's gonna get away. And the damn graystone. Ah, graystone, graystone, graystone. We're gonna turn around now that our friendly graystone's here. Ooh, nope, missed that. Where's that mana regen from the infinity stream? why we want that infinity stream for that great mana regen. I'm gonna go here, get this purple buff for again that mana. And no, no, oh, there's a ward for them. Damn, all right. So nothing really happened there. Trying my best to poke the enemy down, but um, I'm gonna say I need some help here. I do have the shadow buff. Ah, but there's a damn wards. Yeah, there's their damn words. So, good job on the enemy team here. I mean, completely shuts down my efforts. And, do we have enough damage now? Nope. Didn't level it up. Have, haven't increased it too, too much here. Alright, may not be the smartest thing I've ever done coming in from the side here, but... Uh... 3v2. Yeah, it's... Enemy has been slain. Nothing's really gonna work here. Kind of want to come in from the side, but let's actually maybe do this. Let's do this with our slow grenades, with our slow range poke here. There we go, and this is one dead Grexy, one dead Grexy boy. There we go. Oh, Greystone, you want to come for a ride? There's that. We're gonna do these slow mines here to slow him down before he gets away. And there's the containment fence to finish off. This Greystone, fantastic, fantastic, nice stun there. So hey, and we get an inhibitor out of that. Oh, ha, ha, ha. turning this around. I have 16 card power just because we've been 
uh, so great here with the river buffs and doing some work. So, wow, four of the enemy team dead, and two of them are going to go straight for the core. We have enough to finish this off. Infinity Stream and Hydroverser here. Going to replace this Wellspring staff because next we have uh, some more. So, at this point, we got that. Um, we're gonna win from that wow there we go holy smokes so okay showcase guys of uh, of howitzer some uh, some very key things that i did miss um as you can see go to get i mean we're just gonna go just gonna go for that infinity stream and the hydroverser and that would have just amplified that sustain that we already had there as just that last little bit uh was a showcase there 12 16 card power i had uh, 12 whatever it was crazy so let's go take a look at the build and here is the build ladies and gentlemen archmanger for your prime card into your mana potion and healer token i love it you can just you can take the abuse and also just sustain through it it's fantastic and the mana potion obviously helps with just a little bit of mana to few, use a few of those key abilities if anything, if anything funky happens there in the early game. After that, you go into a Magus Ward Wellspring Staff for that mana and mana regen. Just because caster is so tight for mana there right in the early game. You really, really need that into a Fountain Spike, which has a little bit less mana mana regen, a little bit more power. And then you kind of go into two Burst Engines after that for even more power, a little bit of of mana regen. That kind of mana regen sets you up a little bit. I mean, there's only really three CPs worth of mana regen um, for 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 the late game. But then after that, then you go into your Hydroverser and Infinity Stream. Infinity Stream first, followed by Hydroverser, just because Infinity Stream will feed into Hydroverser much more um, than if you go the other way around. After that, uh, we were going to decide between the Hate Spitter, Berserker Drive, and Burst engine i would go for the berserker drive or the burst engine first if you are ahead if you are ahead i would kind of amplify the advantage to go for the berserker drive just for that a little bit of attack speed which actually when you look at the math i haven't released this yet but um attack speed is attack speed increases caster's basic attack the most out of all the stats it's actually attack speed so this little bit of attack speed actually really helps because your basic attacks do okay amount of damage like it's not the majority of by far but it's just i just like the idea just especially because it goes with the theme rambo rocket shooting out a lot of rockets i just like that idea after that i would go into the burst engine but you could certainly go maybe into the hate spitter after that because then you will have the damage to warrant that that that, that um ability pen so i would maybe go for the berserker drive hate spitter and then the burst engine after that so final final build hate spitter burst berserker drive burst engine mages ward infinity stream and hydroverser please let me know what you guys think of this build down in the comments we didn't really get to see hydroverser and infinity stream but basically it's a gigantic power and sustain spike it's monstrous it's ridiculous um your 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 missiles do five, six, seven hundred damage. It's stupid. Um, plus, from the Infinity Stream, all of that mana regen. Plus, what you get from the Berserker Drive, Heat Spitter, and the and the Burst Engine, uh, really, really help. So, it's crazy. It's awesome. Please, ladies and gentlemen, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Share it to the community, of course. Subscribe if you guys like this content, found it useful. Please subscribe so we can do it for you in the future. Till next time, like always, stay optimistic and positive.